Hi and welcome back beautiful Capricorns. My energy is a little bit better now. So I feel confident that I can do your reads and you know every once in a while I just need to recharge. I'm telling you the energies have been heavy not on your Capricorn reads but some of the others are not having such an easy time of it especially during the retrograde guys. So Capricorn thanks so very much for all your beautiful comments, your likes and your subscriptions. Welcome to all you new subscribers here to the channel. You're always welcome here. What's going on for the beautiful beautiful Capricorns. Good luck in your career. What's going on for Capricorn? Setting boundaries. Finding your talents. Compassion. Happiness inspired again strong strength is here happiness learning to set boundaries finding out what your talents are what inspires you strength one more passion what are your passions what are your inspired things it's to do with your career and good luck and finding you know forgiveness to find your happiness. Forgiveness definitely is not for the other people that have harmed us. It is for ourselves. And now it's like your passions are reignited, Capricorn. What's going on? Peace. Releasing fears to find peace. Yes. It's about releasing fear and wanting peace. There is somebody hungering for you. It's like you're hungering for a new passionate beginning, hungering for new life, talents, careers, be, you, you know, things that inspire you. It's like you're hungering for new things. You're very wise and discerning. What's going on? It's like when you release this, yeah, it's, you're resilient. Hmm. There is some kind of masculine energy here <laughs> that is longing for pleasure here. Boundaries again. Setting up boundaries. Things that are healthy for us. It's like you have released something only to bring you in something that's more healthy. You are hungering for new happiness and excitement and careers and t finding your talents and finding what you're passionate about. It is ideas. Creative projects and ideas. You're very wise and discerning. You have a lot of faith. Clarifying, purifying your thoughts. These are pure intentions coming in for you. Extreme. Doing um self-reflection this is extreme pleasure extreme happiness it's not little it is you standing in your faith and sovereignty this is dedicated loyal um grounded stable blossoming there's someone new entering your life someone who finds you very attractive it is you're being protected and this is getting a realization about things that are healthy for you and balance is being restored. It's like I have to surrender this. You've had to surrender and release something. You, um, patience, power, and now you're attracting. Your focus is upon self-love. 
and action and ha having to accept whatever happened in the dark. It was time for a change so that you could grow. And now you're getting a new beginning. Expect the unexpected because it's almost as if you're the heat's been turned up on Capricorns for new life, new adventures, new creations, new, new, new. It's all new here. Your focus has changed. Your focus is on you and self-love and your focus is in on uh, fulfilling your dreams, your passions, your talents. It's creativity. There is obviously someone here who is getting a new beginning in love and it's someone very dedicated and someone very grounded and someone very loyal. Capricorn, you've had to walk away from things that were unstable, things that were dark, things, you know, you've had to release it. I can't live in fear. I'm not going to live in fear. <laughs> A Capricorn staying in fear? Hell to the no. They're going to block that. Mm. Change. Surrendering to change. I gotta, I gotta change my life. I gotta change and do things that are healthy for me. It could be a career change. It could be a change in partnerships. It could. Be, the wheel of fortune is in your favor, and it's like you're blocking out the darkness, focusing on things that are healthy for you. Here comes a stable offer. That's a big change. <laughs> Yeah, it's having to lay it to rest. It's got to go. If it's not healthy for Capricorn, I'm not entertaining it. It's that simple. I am guided forward. And yes, you are. You're being guided to new love. And I think you're swords in somebody's ass. That's what I think you're doing. You stand in your absolute truth. And I think you've had to cut uh, things out of your life that are not healthy for you. You know it. You're discerning. You're wise. You know this is either healthy for me or it's unhealthy and I'm not afraid to sword somebody's ass. Laying down the burdens. <laughs> Taking your, getting your confidence back. Single. Here comes some stable offer of love. What's going on? <laughs> Focusing on self-love, loving on you, and it's releasing these fears. Things that were keeping you trapped, conflicted, mental confusion. I can't deal with it, Capricorn is saying. I'm tired of the obstacles. I'm tired of the challenges. Jealousy, envy. This could be at the workplace. This could be with love. Whatever was keeping you stuck. Mm. high stress high anxiety it's time to make a move and choose a new path and you did things that are toxic this is not your energy things that are toxic things that are codependent things that are obstacles and challenges it's like I gotta go I gotta make a change and when you decide to do what's good for you, change is brought around. Yep, I have to end this. i got to transform and here comes the blessing for doing so. New opportunities, career changes, love changes. Everything is changing rapidly. When you decide to do what is good for you and healthy for you. Mm. What's this all about? Yeah, judgment. Making a decision to change your career, to change your life, to change your love partnerships. What's going on? Yeah, um, somebody's crying over spilt milk and 
the tears are flowing this is someone getting an offer someone is getting a new offer it's someone seeing this is capricorn energy being blessed it's like someone is getting judgment for whatever this was and then i gotta make this change and then here comes this stable offer you are being offered something financially it's a new opportunity and you're taking it not staying trapped in fear it's like letting go gotta release this fear thing i don't know you might have your choice of two loves here it is a choice in love situations somebody had to block somebody yeah, maybe it was to do with uh, something going on. I don't trust this. I don't know. Tell me more. Could be a to do with your projects. Moving forward, taking control. New passions. Cupid zero striking. These as messages. It could be to do with your career. It could be to definitely inspired to uh, create something and it's like learning to trust your own emotions and your own uh, your own self you are inspired you're hot you're discerning you're wise it's like it's gonna make you happy you're attracting you're attracting You've done the soul searching. You've done the work. And bloom, there's a new contract. Either in business or romance or both. It's like it, victory, success, getting accolades. Public recognition, public, you know attention here someone gonna give you yeah you've had to release something this back and forth energy and let the tower hit let it fall spirit saying hmm yeah any cheating sneaking line it's not good for you and then boom ten of pentacles you're being gifted with wish fulfillment and this past person has hurt you and now you're getting something stable you know the universe makes towers here for things that are not for our higher good that's why it's erupted here but when you have surrendered this and made this change it's like you're getting something, yeah, you're wounded, but you're resilient. You bounce back, and it's like someone is observing you. Here, what is this? Taking your power back. There is a masculine energy. Who has been hurt? There's also a feminine energy who's been hurt, and it's like done. I am done. What else is out there? I'm looking toward my future. It is a new cycle that you're entering. You've walked away. I'm done. I gotta go. I'm in search of my Ten of Cups. And I'm damn determined to manifest this for my life. Yes, you are. The good news is coming in. There's an, a masculine getting an empress here. There is an empress getting a masculine who is going to treat you with the time and energy that you deserve, who thinks the world of you. And it's like leaving the past in the past. I got to go. It's not for me. It is, you know, standing your ground. I've spent all the time and energy that I'm going to spend on it 
from now on, I'm going to invest in people who invest in me. And you start to invest in yourself. I am not going to be confused and be treated as an option. I am not going to be breadcrumbed. No, 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 no. Here. Work. Stardom. Glowing. Public acclaim. This is being in the spotlight. This is success. This is healing. Celebrating. Hello. A victory. Yeah. It's like, who cares if people are angry that you took your, you know what I mean, stand into your spotlight. Who cares? I need balance. That simple. People don't realize that when they mess around with other people's energy that eventually it comes back upon them. And that is what has happened now. And now this past person is angry because you're getting this glow up, this public recognition, this public success, this new business, this new career, this new love. Yeah. That's justice. Hmm. We have now fairness here. Someone doesn't want to let you go. And they want to return to your life. And they're actually jealous of you because you're getting this recognition. You could be on the date scene again and people are recognizing you and seeing your value because you saw your own and now it's pissing this person off. Well, like I said, masculine Capricorns, feminine Capricorns, what don't serve me has got to go. You have cut out people, places, and things, whether they be careers, people, or just attachments that are unhealthy for you. I'm taking my own life back into control. And it's like when you make that decision, everything starts changing for the better. And it's like that's why it wasn't working because it wasn't for you. So bringing in things that are for you, here you are. Love, affection, recognition, success, being happiness, being in the spotlight. Somebody is getting publicly recognized, is in the spotlight with their career, on the date scene. People are recognizing you for your contributions on the job for your contributions that you offer in a love relationship. It's equal reciprocity. People know your worth, know your value because you know your own. It is a level of, there is a commitment here. Some of you are getting promotions on your job. Some of you are being put in like leadership roles, CEOs, uh, organizations. We're, we're talking public fame here. And it's about all that time and energy you spent investing on other things and people that didn't see your worth, you start putting that time and energy into creative projects and yourself, bam, the universe rewards you immediately. It's like, here you go. You're on the right track. Keep going. Here comes another offer. Here comes another reward. Here comes. And it just builds your confidence level. 
and that's what's going on in Capricorn's life and be damned Capricorn deserves this they do because they've worked their ass off to get it and that's on the job and that is in personal relationships you've learned all the discernment the wisdom the you know this was not something that fell into Capricorn's lap. They worked their ass off for it. They've gone through many painful, painful cycles in order to get it. You know what I mean? A lot of lessons learned. Well, <laughs> hello, here's Spirit saying, here's your happiness. You are attracting it. So what happens when you make change? That's what happens when you grow. When you do things that are healthy and balanced for you, whatever they are, and nourish yourself, taking the time to reflect upon what is healthy for me, what isn't healthy for me, and making those wise choices, you've gained so much wisdom and knowledge. And it's like you're sharing that wisdom and knowledge with others, and you are being recognized for that. You might be wise counselors. You might give good advice. You could be leaders of organizations, and it's sharing your wisdom and your knowledge, but it benefits you as well as benefiting other people. You stand out above the crowd. You're, you know, you are being recognized for your efforts. Creative projects. It's like, Time. It's what Spirit's saying. It's time to do what is right for Capricorn. When you put that all that energy into things that other people just uh, take for granted, you're like hell to the no. I'm going to do what is good for me. You think I'm this? You think I'm that? Good. Stay over there. I'm going to do what's good for me. And you get public recognition for doing so. It's like you are wise leaders. A lot of people hate on Capricorn because they're old souls. They have been there. They have done it. They have learned a lot of experience. But the, like I said, it didn't come because there was no pain. It didn't come because there was no struggles. It came because you've learned, because you have experienced all the pain and the suffering and the struggles. And you made it through. And you bounce back even stronger. So those who want to be jealous of Capricorn should remember that. It did not come easy. It didn't fall in your laps. And you deserve every ounce of this uh, love and every ounce of this public acclaim that you apparently are getting. These blessings. Take care, beautiful Capricorn.